Greetings to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. And I hope everyone had a wonderful day in our blessed King and Savior, King Yeshua, our beautiful Redeemer, who's the lily of the valley and the rose of Sharon. And that's the verse that I put to Father's message. It's Solomon's Psalm 2, chapter 2, verses 1. It says, I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys. He's ever so beautiful. And the, the, the lily of the valleys it never dawned on me until the beautiful Holy Spirit opened up that verse to me and he is your peace during the storm when you're in the valley when you're in your valley which is um, testing storms he is right there with you as a lily he is your peace. And he's just so wonderful. And he gives you peace and contentment through your storms. But when you're going through your storm, beloved, remember, praise him through your storm. Praise Him and worship Him and He will get you through. Amen to Him to our glorious God Almighty. Glory be to His holy name forever and ever. So this session, I'm going to be reading Psalm 25, but I want to give you chapter 10 for Romans, verses 9 and 10, and I want to tell you, if you are looking for God Almighty to come into your heart, to live with you, to dwell with you, to abide with you, this is what God's Word says for you to say and do. This is to have King Yeshua abide with you. And when He abides with you, He and the Father are one. The Father abides with you also. And the Father promises you the Holy Spirit. When you are baptized, You see, when you are when you repent and are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, King Yeshua HaMashiach, you will receive the Holy Spirit. That's in Acts. I think it's chapter two. But whenever you receive King Yeshua into your heart, you need to be you need to have a repentant you need to have a repentant heart you need to be broken and contrite and you need to sincerely ask for forgiveness of your sins and he is just and faithful to forgive us our sins all of them when you come to him humbly before him and he will lift you up he truly will so chapter 10 verses 9 and 10 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with a heart man believeth unto righteousness, 
and with a mouth confession is made unto salvation. So I wanted to give you that, those two verses. And um, as I say in the other videos, these are not the only verses that talk about this, but these are the two that I talk about. And King Yeshua wants to abide with you. He wants all of his children. God the Father wants all of his flock with him in his kingdom in his kingdom of glory of majesty the highest upon the high to be with him to be with your God Jehovah God Almighty Amen. You just can't get any better than that. Your God wanting to abide with you or wanting you to abide with Him. Wherever He may be in His heavenlies in the millennial for all eternity, but to be with Him. Wow, we serve an amazing God. We surely, truly do. Hallelujah to his holy and mighty name. Hallelujah to his loving and merciful name. Hallelujah to his compassionate and righteous name. Hallelujah to our holy God. Jehovah God Elohim. So I'm going to be reading Psalm 25. It's a fairly decently long psalm. But I just love the psalms. They worship and adore our holy God. So here goes Psalm 25. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Shew me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will shew them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distresses, Look upon mine affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. <laughs> Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let, not, let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. 
Let us praise our mighty and wonderful God. Our beloved Jehovah God, Elohim. Our beautiful Holy Spirit. The Spirit of truth and light. And your beautiful Holy Son, King Yeshua HaMashiach. King Yeshua, the Messiah of the world. Father, thank you for King David, for all his beautiful psalms that he wrote about you, all his praises to you. Thank you for anointing him to write all those beautiful songs. I praise you and I love you. I worship you and I adore you. And I lift you up to the highest of the high. You can't get any higher than you, Father, for you are the creator of all things. Through your precious Son, there's nothing that's been created that you haven't created. And your precious Son came into this world and the world received him not and he came into his own and his own knew him not I might have that backwards I think I do Lord you know my heart I love you so much thank you for your tender mercies for all of your loving kindnesses. Thank you for being my God, the one who loved me before he created me, the one who directs my path as I acknowledge him in all my ways. I love you dearly, so, so dearly, ever so much with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And I will worship you forever and ever. In King Yeshua's holy and mighty name, amen and amen. All right. Please take this word in prayer. Solomon's Song, chapter 2, verses 1. I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 1236 a.m. on 31 December 2015. My most precious daughter of Zion, write Father Yahweh's perfect words of truth for my children to experience hearing from their God Jehovah. My sweet children of mine, this is your Abba Daddy coming to you. I do not want any of my faithful to fear what is coming upon this earth. I warn my children before things come. I have been setting the warnings off for many years now. I have many, many messengers from all walks of life, many of them whose society deems social outcasts, many who the world has written off as needing a psychiatrist. I use the unwanted, the misfits that I created specifically for my purposes. They have went through much, for my son said that a prophet has no honor in their own country. They have been completely isolated and taught personally by my beautiful son. My daughter had the faith to be sent somewhere when everyone questioned her as to why. That she could only answer that she was listening to and following my son in complete faith. 
It takes much strength, and she is an overcomer. My children, you have not much farther to go. Stay close to my son. He will lead you and keep you lifted up in his gentle hands. Father Yahweh, Elohim, eternal grace, beauty, love, and mercy has spoken. And I will leave you with chapter 6 with the Lord's blessing upon us all. Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In the mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach, our perfect Savior, God and King, Baruch HaShem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen.